we're with Professor Hu Gangshet. Thank you very much for the pronunciation, <laughs> Professor. Okay, uh, Professor, tell me briefly, what do you do? All right, uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for your interview. You are a distinguished professor. All right, <clears throat> I'm now a, a professor from Tsinghua University in mm -hmm. Beijing. Yes. Uh, the Tsinghua University is the uh, most prestigious university mm -hmm. in China. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, also a uh, uh, full, uh, full professorship in Macau Potec Institute. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now I'm, uh, you know, I, uh, I do translation, I teach translation, and I theorize translation. Okay, so we should add that you are the president the, of the Eco Trust Technology uh, yeah. Association. Yes, uh, you know that's what I'm. Uh, I have done so far, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, actually, from I, I when you ask me a question, uh, when uh, from the beginning of 1970s, I begin. I began to conduct interpreting, interpreting for over 20 years. Okay, so you, you were trained as an interpreter? Mm -hmm. Oh, right? uh, university graduate. University graduate. Okay. After my graduation, I, I was assigned as an interpreter. Because at uh, that and time, where, where were you? Which university? In, in, uh, in uh, Wuhan. All right. Wuhan. Wuhan. You know, that, that, that was a very large uh, project. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, at that, just at the beginning of China's opening door to the outside world, mm -hmm. so there are many foreign uh, experts coming from different parts of the world coming to China, mm -hmm. so they, they, they need a lot of translators and interpreters. So I was assigned mm -hmm. as an interpreter for a large group of uh, uh, specialists from, a, from abroad, from foreign countries, Good. from the United States, from Germany, and from even from the former Soviet Union, and from different parts of the world. So I have been an uh, interpreter for 22 years. In, in China? In, 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 in China, China and also in the United States, in Boston yes? University. Oh, Boston really? University, okay. yes. And also in Europe, you know, European countries. During that period, I was invited. I was invited mm -hmm. as a, a guest professor uh, from what is Eindhoven. Eindhoven, Eindhoven University in, of Technology. In, in the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yes, yes. Netherlands. The Eindhoven in the Netherlands. Yes. Because at that time, I was uh, also, on the one hand, I did the interpreting. On the other hand, I Secretary for a, a president of academic uh, of Chinese Academy of Sciences. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So in, in in charge of the uh, the international connections. So I went to a number of uh, countries and regions. So when region. when you were an interpreter, were you also an academic? Uh, at, the, uh, at that time, you know, just a professional, just a professional, mm -hmm. a practical translator and interpreter. Not like today, I'm a you know, professor. Yeah. So you, you came into the academy? Yes, in for, into the uh, uh, academy. Why? Uh, you know, at that time we were doing you know, practical translation and interpretation. But uh, gradually I became older and older, over 30, uh, over 40. I could not, I could not train you know, uh, professionally uh, translators or interpreters. Uh, Only okay. can be, this can be done in universities only. Okay, so so I entered the they, they invite me to be a practical, experienced interpreter yes. as a professor, as a teacher in university, yes. in Tsinghua University. Right. That's the reason I was a professor there. But before that, I, I did the practical interpretation sure. and translation. Uh, you, you did a doctorate then? Ah, in uh, later, later on, uh, I, I, be, uh, I, be, I became a professor from Tsinghua University, mm -hmm. and uh, over 50, and then and I, I, at that time, I was the chairman of a academic committee for uh, the uh, Department of Foreign Languages and Foreign Literatures. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was a chairman. However, I, I had no, I had no uh, PhD degree. And then they asked me to supervise PhD degree mm -hmm. students. But I myself have no such, have not earned this, this, this title. Mm -hmm. So I have a chance when I went to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did my PhD, and then after I have uh, uh, earned my PhD mm -hmm. for three years in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Your supervisor, your directors were. Uh, I, I I went to Babis, uh, I went to Cambridge University mm -hmm. in UK mm -hmm. as a postdoc fellow. Mm -hmm. Postdoc fellow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, just the people who who were your supervisors for your doctoral thesis in uh, Hong that's Kong. That's uh, 
uh, uh, Simon Chow, yes. Simon Chow, Dr. Tan, and uh, or Masha Chan. 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 You know, yeah. that's the same Chan. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, so, uh, uh, and, and then the Cambridge. Uh, Cambridge, yes. just for a very short time, mm -hmm. then come back to Tsinghua University. Yes. And then uh, I taught uh, uh, translation courses there, and interpreting and uh, something like this. And later on, I, be, I, I, I reached the age of in retirement. Then I quit from Tsinghua University and went to Macau, Good. Polytech Institute, uh, for okay. medicine. Okay. That's it. Then I also taught uh, courses on interpreting and translation and all translation series of something like this, religious work. Uh, all right? Okay. So, uh, we're generous. So nowadays, so, so, um, just, are, are you an exception here? Because you're a, 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 a very high level interpreter, a professional, yeah. who's come to the academy fairly late in life. Mm, yeah, the practical and, first. Yeah, so right, yes, so right. yeah it's, it's impressive. It's, yeah, so, I, okay. so later on you can see I contracted the, the, the systematic discourse of translation Special echo translation. Yes, tell, based tell on, us. Based, based on this uh, practical. On the experience. Yeah. Yes. 40, well, let's see, 40, 43 years. Yes. That's practical. Yes. I'm an actual, I'm a practitioner, translator, interpreter. Right. And gradually, I realized something, and then, then I learned something, and a PhD, and a postdoc, mm -hmm. and then I want to. I, I, and I also learned a lot from the Western series. Mm -hmm. I, I found some, some, you know, missing links. Some mm -hmm. missing links. They're based on the Chinese philosophy, missing links. Mm -hmm. All right, as you said, I prefer very much you say the polarization, polar, two polars, or the, the binary, binarism, you see? So that, that's the reason why later on, I did my PhD about uh, translation as adaptation and selection mm -hmm. uh, in light of uh, Darwin's, Darwin's uh, survival of the fetus, okay. something like natural selection. All right. But later on, I changed. I, I, I met with a lot of challenges. Yes. You know, Darwin, yes. About social Darwinism or something. But I, I said, no, no, I just want to pick up the you know, natural selection, only the principle of uh, adaptation and selection, nothing else. Okay. I, I have to explain time and again. But later on, three years later, I think that's in, uh, uh, in the year of 2003, I started the eco translatology. Okay. And this is an ecological approach to translate. Oh, this is okay. Ecological is okay. okay. Much better. Okay, better than <laughs> social Darwinism. Better than social Darwinism. Okay. Okay. Better, better. What, what would the basic principles be then? Uh, okay, let me just very briefly talk about You know, uh, so far, there are several theoretical considerations or purpose. Number one is, I learned from the Western, you know, that's kind of a holism. Holism or holistic. Holism. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, wholeness. So this is both in China and in the West. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, even from, um, um, uh, you know, ancient, from ancient Greek. Yes, very ancient. That's whole is man. This idea come to me. Ah, oh, we should not only look at translating as a linguistic convention term or a culture. A lot of you add different dimensions. Mm -hmm. Not all. Oh, I think this holistic thing. Well, there's any discipline which can cover everything. Ah, oh, later I found the e ecology. Yes. Because okay. ecology is everything. Air, earth, person, human beings, everything. That's the environment in which we live, everything. So including translation activities, of mm -hmm. course. So this is a larger sphere. Uh, so the second, the second uh, purpose, the second theoretical purpose, that, that is the Chinese philosophy. Chinese is over five over five thousand years philosophy. You know, the principle, the, the principle of unity between heaven and heaven, earth and people, mm -hmm. three elements. So this is a unity. So we have we have to, to think about the translation activity as a unity. So the, to keep balance or harmony. So this is principle from the Chinese philosophy. Mm -hmm. Another one is good and mean. As I mentioned, is the principle of good and mean. Not too extreme. It's too right, it's extreme or this extreme. You can't say, so center, center, mm -hmm. center, our center, our center. Then it's too extreme. What about this? As you mentioned, third one, or what is in the middle? Mm -hmm. So I think this is a philosophy. It just tells me that all oh, yes. When we look at that, when we take a new look at translation acting, that actually this should be harmonic, balance, you know, source text, text balance, text, uh, stylistic balance, the word choice balance, cultural, and everything. Mm -hmm. So that's the principle, it's okay. So another, the, the third one, the third uh, theoretical purpose that is uh, adapting in a selection, I borrowed from Dower's, uh, and then I transform it, I change it uh, on the basis of translation practice. Mm -hmm. so, 
So later on, translation has a definite threat. It's not violence, it's Hogan's. Okay. That's a theory, systematic theory for translation. So, uh, this you, is really you have there in your diagrams, you've got the translator adapting to the source. Source text, yes. Yeah. How does the translator adapt? Uh, you can see, um, th that's a principle. For example, you are from Sp uh, Spain, okay? Uh, Spanish, your, your Spanish culture, Spanish language, Spanish society, Spanish everything, okay? Oh, in, no, I'm actually from Australia. Australia, okay. <laughs> let, let, let's just that's it just, it, I, I just suppose, okay? This is the environment. Yes. The environment, this is a metaphor. The environment, including the text, mm -hmm. including the language, society, everything, the environment. So as a translator, I have to adapt myself to you, to the environment. Mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to know Spanish. I have to know Spanish culture. I have to know Spanish society. I have to know everything in Spanish. Otherwise, you as an environment will eliminate me. You eliminate. Or I could not do that yep. because I could not adapt myself to you. Okay. So and that's then, a, 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 adaptation. And then the selection process then, is. Then since I have accepted, just like a Baptist, I have, I, have, I have accepted the. I have a. I don't know that word. I have, I have been baptized. 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 I have been baptized by. by, by because I obey, I adapt myself to everything of the source okay. sense, source culture, right. source society, everything. Then mm -hmm. baptize. Then I will be over as a as a favor, as a god. That's then I am a god to select part text. Okay. I borrow the principle of natural selection. Na okay. You are nature. You select me. Okay. So it's it's not a question of adapting the text. It's uh, adapting the translation. Oh, uh, 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 that's the environment. Yes. Because the text is the core of the environment. Okay. So this is a larger sphere. Not only the text, only the, you know. Uh, did you mention you know the text, the text, the linguistic, uh, the language structure, the cultural dimension, and the society, and the aesthetics, and the ethics, everything norms. Yes. So I put everything together as an environment. So you have to. Uh, that to the environment, of course, with the text as a core, okay. all right? So then you can select, the, why, why you center, you can because I'm God, for example, because I have listened to you, I've obeyed you, everything, all right? Then it's, it's, it's time to form, as a God, in name of this environment, I can select, I can select the, the part text. So there's a living thing, some movie. The living things in the source uh, text environment, the, the living things in a packet text environment. So accurate transcriptology will keep not only keep the process, but also keep the you will translate the version as a plot, as a as, as a living thing. The, the best way is the best way is not equivalent, not that many. The best way is your transplanted the living things can survive. Okay. Long live. Good. That's all. That's that's luck. And also another important thing, or I think the I, think I, I classified the three different uh, phases or different stages pre translation, translating, during translating, and post translating. Okay? Different stages, different periods will have different functions, different contents, or different, different ways. For pre translating, of course, author centered, source text centered. Okay? For during translating, of course, translator centered. In process, action. Okay, of course, the translator's adaptation to the source text and selection. And in a post-translating post period, of course, also centered, mm. part of text center. You can see very clear. Good. So there's, there's no, uh, no uh, uh, the, the quarrel or the debating is, is because of not clear demarcation of the three periods. So I did that. So now, as far as the uh, echo translatory is concerned, three uh, main concepts, three words. One, text. That is, talking about text, then the text, uh, the translation as a textual transplant from a source text, the garden or the environment, to transplant to the target text. This is one word. Another word that is a person, the human agents, then from the authors, product, you know, Author, uh, author, translator, and reader, and or commentator, publish everything. Persons okay. or humans, this is our environment. This is ecology. Okay, textual ecology, human agency. Mm -hmm. This is two words. The third word is environment. 
instead of context. Because context is smaller, this will be larger scale for translational echo environment, three words that will be the core concept of echo translation. And also ethics, something. Uh, of course, yeah. one of the concerns of yours, the ethics, there's four principles ethics. One is for balance, principle of balance and harmony. Mm -hmm. Another one is uh, the principle of uh, multi, uh, multiple or diversity. Uh, that is the integration, multi integration and diversity. Diversity of what? The, the diversity of, for example, different versions. Right. You can translate, yeah. can translate. You, you should also, oh, uh, my is good, yours is not good. No. This, according to nature, according to the environment, the, everything should, should be there. Yes. You know, uh, and the third principle will be uh, something like sin, sin bias, sin bias. symbiosis. Sim sim symbiosis. 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 Yes. symbiosis. Yes. 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 You, know, you know, someone said, well, I have uh, produced a uh, theory, now you can have uh, another No. Uh, according to the natural, natural order, everybody, everybody don't care. Then they, they can't compete. If it is fit, then it is so bad. If you do not fit, it eliminate. This is a very good principle. The last one, that the fourth one, principle that's uh, translator responsibility. Mm -hmm. This is a good principle for uh, ethics. Okay, you have to be responsible. If you only take care of the language, no, you are not, not, no, or uh, not uh, ethical because there are cultural factors, there are social factors, many other factors. Why do you? Why don't you? Consider that. If then your mistranslation will be labeled as you are shortage of this moral or something. Because there are many factors you have to consider, but you only consider one. So this is one of the. Uh, <laughs> can, can, the this is from 2003. Uh, yes, 2001. Two thousand one. Okay, it's just at the beginning can, of this new century. Tell us briefly about the success of this paradigm. Ah, over those years, because I I've seen master's theses, oh, doctoral wow. theses, yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot of publications, a journal. Yes, uh, you know, uh, seventy uh, sixty percent of the uh, master degrees uh, or, 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 or master uh, uh, theses and, and uh, MS theses all about application. They prefer my uh, multi multi uh, dimensional transformation. Mm -hmm. This as a method, mm -hmm. multi, not only linguistic. Linguistic dimension. And you, when you translate, you have to consider linguistic dimension, cultural dimension, communicative dimension, and other dimensions. Sure. Of course, at least you have to keep the three. So this this is a principle. So not like uh, direct uh, translation of fruit. This just gives you very specific, at multiple, at least three dimensions. So it's easy to master for the for for, for the translators. Okay. Okay. Now, now you've been very successful. Yeah. In China. Yes, this because uh, I call it as a paradigm. There are many, yes. not only a theory, but also it's kind of a, a lot of subsystems. Yes. Subsystems, a lot of elements for research. For example, if you research the ecology of a uh, com uh, translated community, this is one. If you uh, research something on the ecology of text, then another one. If you uh, research some ecology of the environment itself, you know, a lot of, and within this, there are a lot of uh, smaller, you know, uh, you know, viewpoints, or tenets, uh, and, and uh, angles to start with. So this is very comprehensive, the comprehensive. So, do, do you think, so, uh, I, I, I'm just interested in the success. Yeah, yeah, that you success, the success, you know, successful, you know, on and, one hand. And, and if it's particularly Chinese success. Uh, yeah, I'm now graduate. Why, 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 why successful here? Uh, yeah, you can see and this gradually, this gradually. Should people study ecotranspatology and not look at Western translation? Oh, no. I, I, said, I, I said several times, the Western, no, I, as a PhD, as a professor, I learned a lot about Western scholarship, including yours. You know, Dianotis, you know, getting to this, you know, I learned everything. As a master, you have to do that, okay? However, I, I think this one's much more, uh, can sometimes can can include yes. Yes. include or surpass the the, the, view, the vision is broader, mm -hmm. so they can they can explain what they have been explained by Western mm -hmm. uh, you know ideas, but some of them neglected ones overlooked ones mm -hmm. can make up for that. 
Okay. Yeah. What? Where do we go from here? What's the future for? Uh, so, or for Echo Transfer Talk? All right. What's you know, you know, this has been done, and uh, I, uh, 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 people come together. They uh, formed uh, the uh, International Association for Transdepartmental uh, Research, and we have also uh, launched uh, the uh, a journal for Echo Transfer uh, Journal of Echo Transfer and also a large number of that we have society oh, now over. Uh, uh, over 100, you know, members, mm -hmm. and including the foreign uh, get, uh, uh, for example, and also uh, 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 the lady from Vienna, I think, and then from uh, 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 Mary Mary Schneider, okay. and also uh, see, you know, a number, at least yeah. five numbers. You, I, I didn't know you know you. Otherwise, you work, you can add as an advisor. Yeah, you you like. If you like, you like add, you know, oh, I, I'm learning. Huh? I'm learning. <laughs> but that's in a jerk. Okay. And now, this is an international board. So we, we, uh, we establish an uh, association, international association, and uh, journal, and also we, we, we try to build up a paradigm. So now, more than 100 universities started to do PhD and uh, MS thesis, and also a lot of research projects at national level. at, uh, mm -hmm. at uh, one only one in the but later on we can have uh, if you like. I, I also would like to have a summer study, summer study, uh, uh, summer school, summer school, yes, okay. summer school, especially on transit college. Okay. You know, we can if you can organize it, then we, we can have a group, uh, five groups of, uh, of professors, and I can offer ten at least ten Chinese scholars, PhD scholars, already scholars, and then for then maybe twenty or thirty. That's that's good. Okay. Gradually, we will develop to. To, 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 to this right direction. Okay, <laughs> just one last question. Uh, okay. Big hugs. Uh, you you sign emails and you sign a book. Uh, 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 Big uh, hugs. Yes. Does this have some meaning that I uh, don't know? Uh, that's because of my father. My name is Hu Geng Sen. Yes. I'm in China. Yes. Hu H U. Yes. It so happened. H U. Geng started from G. Uh, yeah. F G G. Sen S. Hugs. That's my name, the oh, first okay. letter of my right. name, nothing. Okay, so it's a pun. As in, I add strong. It's a pun on your name. I okay. have a pun on my name. So strong big hugs. Big hugs. They are strong. Strong big hugs. Strong hugs. Yeah. Okay. When, so I met with uh, uh, Julian Hauser, strong hugs. Okay. I met <laughs> with you a little bit. Okay. I met with, uh, yes. I okay. So this is very funny. Like, I, it's, you know, I accepted it. That's good. That's one mystery explained. <laughs> very good. Okay, weird. Professor Lu, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Uh, you make me, you know, I, I, I certainly will try what I can to, uh, together with other scholars and try to, with, especially with the foreign distinguished guests and the foreign professors, we can see whether this can, the, the, the Eastern philosophy, the Eastern idea can be more and more spread a little bit, okay? Sure. So that to keep the ecological balance between East and West. Okay. That's my idea. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. All right.